about his side chicks coming out of the woodworks uh, in his death. I think the audacity of the disrespect. If you cannot be seen or you was a well-kept secret while this man was alive, you wouldn't have posted none of these videos. You wouldn't have dressed anything. I, no, it was another girl who has posted before, yeah, who said that they was they friends. Was friends but Erica yeah. Banks has not posted anything. Nobody knew that she was dealing with him until he died. And Rich Homie Quan the other day, uh, his girlfriend uh, uh, came downstairs. He had slept downstairs. Girlfriend came downstairs, said she put a cover over him. She left the house to take the baby to school. She got back after taking the baby to school and touched him, I guess, and, you know, said he didn't have a heartbeat. I actually heard on the uh, 911 call, it sounded like she said she turned him over a little bit and, and uh, some phone was coming out of his mouth or something like that. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I could be tripping. Anyway, Rich Homie Quan, a very untimely death. I think he was 34. Uh, he was young. Very young. Yeah, definitely in his 30s. Very young. Um, but even, you know, worse, you know, for the family, he has children and the lady who came and found him uh, unalive, uh, his side chicks are coming out the woodwork and Miss Erica Bank is, is leading the pack. What do you think about his side chicks coming out of the woodworks uh, in his death? I think the audacity of the disrespect. If you cannot be seen or you was a well-kept secret while this man was alive, you wouldn't have posted none of these videos, you wouldn't have dressed anything, then why disrespect him and his life or his children? But, I mean, to me, it, it kind of goes both ways. You got the girl that he was with, his children's mother, he was with her for 15 years. 15 years he did not marry her so it's kind of a sad situation on both of them because at the end of the day his estate going to his next two kin not his girlfriend next to kin will be his children right or mother or father uh, who's yeah. gonna look out for the children yeah, the will that's actually leaving it to his children his next of kin is gonna be his parents and normally it would be you know yeah, I would think the next thing yeah. closest to him, or siblings, if his parents are deceased. So, it, especially it's not with girlfriend. how with how young he he is, uh, was you know at the time of death, I wouldn't even know if he would have had the frame of mind that had got a will and you know. I would hope he did. Yeah, I would hope he did. And, and you know, so it's kind of a sad situation because you have a mother uh, who's invested all this time in these years in with this man and all at the end all she get is heartbreak and disrespect then you have this side chick who i guess was a well-kept secret because then nobody even know that they were dealing with each other until he passed okay. she what, didn't was, was any of those videos uh not from uh, not already posted all the videos that we've seen recently are was posted since his death just that with quick erica, yeah with erica banks yes. I, I, I thought she was uh, i thought she had uh, posted on some social medias with, with no, them two. No, it was another girl who has posted before yeah, who I said that they was they friends. Was friends but now, Erica yeah. Banks has not posted anything. Nobody knew that she was dealing with him until he died. And he, I'm talking about, it was hours before she exposed that information. Does that break woman code? Is there, is there some, is there some type of etiquette that a side chick should, I mean, I mean, <laughs> I mean, I know so if she's a side chick, she doesn't have much, to, you know, but to stand on, but I'm, I'm just saying, like, is it any kind of code? I, yeah. I wouldn't know the codes of side chicks. Right, um, right. So I don't know what secret language or things, but I do know the code of respect and disrespect. And to have, if I had the um, audacity to be dealing with someone, um, <laughs> see, and it goes so many ways. So if I was dealing with someone else, man, and he's single, first of all, he's single, so is she really wrong? I had to ask the question. Is I she really trying, wrong? I because, I mean, really, if he's single and she's single and the, and the baby, yeah, you're supposed to be in a relationship, but if he's out here acting single, am I really wrong for dealing with this man? Because he ain't got no ring and on. And when you say single, you, you mean unmarried. I mean unmarried. Single is unmarried. I don't care how, I mean, clearly, he was in a relationship for years or dealing with someone for years or courting someone for years, but it didn't mean nothing. But she has family. This is a time of death. 
uh, the, the kids are connected to her. I mean, That's cute. I, I think Erica Banks uh, did was very disrespectful. It's cute. And, it is. Yeah. It, it's cute that they, you know, yeah, they got family and this and that. But at the end of the day, he was a single man. So was Erica really wrong? No. The, as far as pursuing this man, so I can't really say that she was wrong for pursuing him. What I can say is they relation. The disrespect came because y'all relationship, obviously, of you and him yeah. was on the download, kept secret. You did not, y'all was not publicly dating as he was with his kid's mother. So why disrespect him or the kid's mother now that he's gone? You gonna take that to the grave with yourself or go pay your respects or however, but don't disrespect his children because you respected her when you was, I mean, clearly you did. You knew he was still dealing with her. You didn't post nothing before. You didn't let her know that you was dating him before. So that's what a disrespect, but I mean, it all depends on your view of uh, when you come to to me, I don't think a side chick is a person who is dating another single man. I think side chicks are people who are dating married people. You know what I'm saying? So that's just my opinion. So mm. I have a, um, mm, you know, mm, yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that's his own uh, podcast right there. Yeah, we got to talk about it because, yeah, I don't think if you're not married, if if he's not married, then, you know, I'm not mad at a woman that feels like, you know, it's all fair game. Yeah, uh, I thought that was uh, pretty crazy, especially, you know, it was just I, I didn't um, again, the uh, the drugs, uh, it, they are they saying it was an overdose? I have read and heard that, but I don't really know what they're trying to actually say it was. I have seen that article, too. But, you know, when people so much is said and so much yeah. comes out, so you don't know what parts to believe. I hope I mean, it sounds possible. Um, You know, he died in his sleep or didn't wake up or however you want to. Look well, at it, it. to me, it's unnatural to die at 34 if it was 34. Can you find out if it was 34? I, I do think that's un, uh, unnatural to die that early. And uh, the, the last few interviews that I did uh, watch just this morning, he was, his you know, was slurring uh, every word. You know, uh, he's a very small guy. I don't know. I don't know. I, I hope it wasn't an overdose, but I mean, my God, it couldn't have been a natural death. Not at 34. Yeah, he was 34. 34. That's, that's the way he's age. Super young. Yeah, same age as your brother. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Uh, but yeah, we're we going to be, uh, all we can do is uh, be, be lifting those uh, people up in prayer, uh, their families. And uh, I mean, that, that's major. 